Howdy folks, this is going to be a new video series here. I just bought this truck here. 78 Ford F-150. Picked it up for 800 bucks. Got a good clear title. This is just right around the road. Near where I live. But I was looking at it a little bit and figured I'd show y'all. It's missing a radiator here, but that ain't no big deal. We can get another radiator. The guy that had this thing was going to scrap it. And that's probably what I'm thinking why the radiator's missing. Somebody done took the radiator out and then scrapped it. Which is a shame because that they're a good radiator because they're the good brass and uh, copper ones. So they probably scrapped it for the copper. But, I mean, it ain't no big deal. It might have been leaked anyway, but we'll order another radiator. That's the least of my concern. Motor's free. It's not locked up or anything. It seems like it's got a little compression. So, we're going to take and check it out. The rotor and all didn't look too bad either. I checked it earlier. It don't look burnt up or anything. It look too terrible. Somebody put this on one time. No, it ain't too bad. Get a radiator for it. And I just threw a rag on this carburetor because I got to pull it off and check it out and Make sure it's clean. Let's see, we've got some mud divers right in here. But I'm not going to really worry with that right now. My main concern is I want to get it, I'm going to get it to where it'll turn over here, and I'm going to do a compression test on it. Because there's no point really in putting any money in it in that motor right there until we we'll do a compression test. So I'm going to compression check it. And if it's got good compression, which I think it'll be okay. I mean, it seems like it turns out fine, but we're going to check it. Then I'll probably take and uh, start going through it, and we'll put a kit in our two-barrel motor craft up here. Then we'll take and uh, check the fire and make sure it's got spark and all. And then we'll put a little gas down the carb, and we'll see if it'll bust off. No, we're not going to run too long, but I just want to check it and get it run where I can run enough to make sure, you know, it ain't nothing really wrong with it. And as long as it ain't nothing wrong with it, then we'll take and order our radiator. But we're going to take it one step at a time here. You know, now the guy that bought it off of, I mean, I'm not going to mention names or anything, but... He just didn't seem like he was all there. But one thing, just to give y'all advice out there, when you're buying a vehicle or even buy it, when you're looking at it, always make sure and verify the VIN on it. You know, because you need to do that, which I already did all that. You know, all that's good. It's got a clear title. You know, we're good on all that as far as the legal stuff, but, you know. But I, I went ahead and verified it. And so you want to make sure and verify the VIN there. 
just make sure it's clear and make sure it matches the title which I've done and it's all good there I'm actually getting my name probably in the next day or, or so when I get a chance my goal was I just want to take and just fix it up here and just get it running get it driving you know we'll throw a set of tires on here and this is just basically going to be my backup vehicle for the time being so I just want to fix it up and drive it and get it running make sure everything's good on it then we're going to take and uh, probably just keep it for a backup vehicle Nick, I thought about taking the truck and just flipping it and you know just turn around and sell it just fix it and do something like that but we will see one advantage I like about this truck versus my other one I have is I love I like it because it's got the leaf springs on the back, which that makes it so much better. And this truck's actually got a four nine inch in it, which makes it nice. I like it. I believe it's got a C four, but I'm not for sure. Now I gotta verify the numbers and. Make sure this is a 302. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Unless somebody's done change the valve covers or something. I mean, could be a 351, but I'm pretty sure it's 302. It's 302 right there. There it is. 302. I mean, it's got a really good grill in it. It's really not a bad looking truck. It's got like one little dent right in here, but that ain't too bad. Let's straighten that. It's actually a pretty straight truck for the most part. And there ain't really any major rot that I can see in it. They all sometimes these hoods they rot out real bad up in here. This one's not. This is it's pretty solid. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting a lot with 800 bucks anyway, but I don't think it's gonna take much to get it going. I mean, it turns over, so you know we're good on that. Run a compression check on it and check her out. But one thing I like about this one versus the other one, this one's got leaf springs and this one's got disc brakes on the front, which is so much better. Plus we got our power steering. And what I like the mostly about this truck is we don't have no AC stuff. And I like it. That makes it nice because it makes it firewall nice and clean. Me ain't got to worry about nothing. So that's the only thing I don't like about my C10 is it's got all that AC stuff on it. And I don't like all that. I'd like just to do away with all of it and just keep the heat. I mean, if it had AC and it worked, you know, that's one thing I'd keep it. But me personally, I like it clean, look like that. That way you ain't got all the clutter on the firewall. But. And even if this motor turns out and it ain't no good, I mean, I can go pick a, like a 306 cylinder or just get another 302 and put in it. So, I mean, I'm not really worried about that. My goal was I don't want to put a whole lot of money in this truck because I want to be able to sell it for a reasonable price. You know, I don't want to go crazy on it. And somebody, I think, has put this bed on here. From another truck because I don't think I've ever seen a long bed with a two wheel drive with dual tanks. The only two wheel drives that were a long bed I've seen is they hit the tank back here. But I've never seen the front one up there like that. But I was looking underneath and it may have been a dual tank truck, which is kind of rare. 
at least to me. See, it had a rear fuel tank on it one time. Somebody removed it, and like I said, they were going to scrap it. I just seen it, and I wanted to get it before they scrapped it. Because I think this is too nice of a truck to scrap. I mean, it ain't rotted all out in here or anything. It's, it's pretty solid for the most part. What brought it and what uh, surface rust does have, I mean, it ain't nothing major, it's just surface rust. But, I mean, we have our tank down here, so I'm glad he didn't take that one off. So, it may have been, I mean, it's set up for a dual tank, it may have been a dual tank, but the guy told me the bed wasn't original. Told me it was off of another truck, which it doesn't matter to me. Now, if this is made like this, yeah, I think it's just made like that, I guess. No. I don't know if somebody's cut this off. Or if it's just stamped like that. From the factory. I'll have to look in some pictures. But, yep, there's our nine inch here. That'll make it nice. I actually took and uh, hooked up, threw a battery in it just to see what it would do, and uh, I think our solenoid is bad. But, So I'll replace that and then we got lucky on that because when I was looking through the truck we had one in this box down here where I believe this is it there's it at there's the box for it there it is. They so come with this solenoid right here, so. Worst come to worst, we'll just swap it out this one, see if this one's any good. It's the same to me. I think this is the one that came out of that box. But. Really a solid truck. A little right right in there, but I mean for the most part, I mean I all these trucks I seen I, they always rot out at the bottom of the fenders. And the floor pans are really famous for rotting out in these trucks. So this one's got really good rockers on it. I mean, it's, it's pretty solid. So that makes it nice. I'd like to take my C10 and convert it to leaf springs because those leaf springs really make it nice. You can haul more. and To me, it's just, to me, it rides better. I'd like to take my C10, put leaf springs on it, and disc brakes for sure. One day down the road. Somebody's cut our uh, alternator wires here, but that ain't no big deal. This one right here is hot. Then you got one that goes to your ignition. Then you got one that goes to this voltage regulator. Then the other one goes to your battery. Which that ain't, you know, that's not too bad. I can fix that. I'll just put new ends on it. 
Well, actually, when you have to do that, I might just go to the salvage yard. The way they did this. Yeah. I'll just unbolt it here. Unplug it here and here. Then we won't have to do nothing. We'll just take this on out and we'll take a, get another one off another truck. Then we won't have to worry about all any of this. So I want it that way when I put it all back, I like everything to be factory. That way it's got all the factory ends on it and it ain't all butchered up and all that. No worse come worse. I mean, we can put the ends on it temporarily. Just to get it running. I'm going to go to the salvage yard and we'll probably just pull another one off. I'm sure this sell it for a couple dollars. That way, we can put it all back original. And if I ever sell it, you know, it keeps it original and ain't all butchered up. One thing about this truck that I really like. This is my favorite part of the truck. See, the seller here, he uh, did this for me. He threw this in as a special here. Oh, yeah. That's just one of them seller specials there. Oh, yeah. Well, we got a rope out of the deal anyway. So I get to clean all that off. You know, that's one thing, you know, like I was saying earlier about that guy that sold his truck to me. You know, when you sell something, to me, if I'm going to sell a truck to somebody, you need to clean all this stuff off there. I mean, you can't sell something like that. You need to sell it and make it where it's uh, presentable. I mean, that's just ridiculous. And the funny part about it is he told me he was going to clean all this off and he didn't. But, you know, I was expecting that. funny part is, is as soon as uh, I give him the money for the truck and come back the next day to get this thing. Well, today, actually. He was sitting there on the couch and he wouldn't even come outside. I went up and knocked on his door and he wouldn't even come outside to help me uh, load this thing up. You know, it just goes to show, I mean, I, I wouldn't do that to somebody. If I'm going to sell something to somebody, I, I'm not going to sell it with all this crap on the back. I mean, that's ridiculous. I'd clean this truck up, wash it up, you know, get it shot back at the least and vacuum it out. But when you sell something, you know, you need to clean it up. Just spend a little time to clean it up. Because nine times out of ten, when you clean it up, I mean, if I was selling this truck, I could have got more money out of it. You know, when you clean it up like that, you can make a little bit more. You know, it helps the value go up a little bit. Got a pretty good tailgate here. Actually, pretty solid. That one end catches a little bit, I was noticing. There he is. But anyway, I'm happy. I mean, it turned out good. Got a good tailgate on it. And you have a good bumper. I don't know if somebody was pulling a trailer or something at one time. If somebody has made this right here. Well, it ain't hurt nothing. I'm going to leave it on there. But I had hooked the battery up on this earlier. And I was checking their brake lights and turn signals and headlights and all that. And everything works except for our signal light right here so that's probably no big deal it's probably just a burnt bulb because this one over here works and our headlights work too horns good 
I checked our wiper blades and all them, all that works. We got a good wiper motor. I checked the uh, fan, the blower and all that, and all our heater and defrost seems like it's going to work. So, I mean, we didn't do too bad. Oh, and one thing I want to mention too is the owner that uh, sold this truck to me, he tried to tell me that that was the original mileage. And that's no way uh, the original mileage. And I called him too. Because when I was looking on the title in Virginia, when you write on the title, uh, it'll state, you know, whether the miles are original or uh, exceeds mechanical limits, which would be this one because this is a five digit. So it only goes up, you know, 99,999. It's five digits. Or it'll say not actual, and on there is not actual, which, you know, I'm not worried about that. I knew it was, you know, it's probably 136, something like that. Well over 100,000. You know, it's old. It's going to have a lot. But, but I, I just trying to make this video here. Oh, we got a knife here. Well, we got a free knife out of the deal. <laughs> it's not a perfect truck, but I think it'll work. Got a key here. That's the original Ford key, too, I think. Got our uh, high speed uh, shifter here. That's something I might have to take a look at. You can see where they put a bolt and a nut on it. 